Thank you for watching US Classic Muscle Cars. Please enjoy this next video. Like us, share, subscribe to us on Facebook and social media. Welcome to the 50th anniversary of the Classic Car Club of America. We are here with Bill today. It is Father's Day. We are looking at this amazing car. Bill, can you tell us a little bit more about this beautiful piece of art? Uh, sure. This is a 1932 Pierce Arrow, and it was made in Buffalo, New York. Uh, Pierce was in business from 1901 to 1938, and uh, they always made luxury cars, and this was, uh, this was one of them. Uh, this is it was a two door. It was called a Club Brome because of the body style. And it, uh, at this time, uh, Pierce was owned by Studebaker, and uh, from 28 to 33. And Studebaker had a, a body style very similar to this called the St. Regis Brome. And the cars were side by side. They looked very very similar. Uh, this car is an eight cylinder, uh, straight eight. Has 135 horsepower and uh, 366 cubic inch for all the, all the guys that like to hear that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the, um, this particular car, sorry, yeah. this particular car was restored uh, 30 years ago and then it wasn't driven very much. I bought it in January as a non-running car. It hadn't run in 10 years. So uh, as a part of bringing it back, I had to do a lot of engine work disassembly to find the internal problems that I knew would be there from a car sitting there that long. And uh, found them, uh, had to rebuild the water pump, had to uh, recore the radiator and do a valve job on it. And that's really about all I've had to do so far. And uh, we can start it up in a minute and um, so that you can get a feel for how it, uh, uh, how it sounds and how it looks. Bill, can you show us the engine, please? Sure, I'll just come over and pull the hood up. This is called a flathead engine because all the valve train is all the valve train is in the block rather than in the head. And so that's the the, uh, the look of the engine is uh, quite distinctive that way. And um, so this is all the way it after I'd cleaned everything up. It's 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 been running for all of two weeks now. So we're just getting to know it and uh, mm -hmm. learning how the thing how the thing works. And I'll start it up for you in a minute. Wonderful. That is amazing. Nice and smooth. Wow, Bill, thank you for bringing this back to life. It's hard to imagine anything being pulled today. <laughs> Ask them if we can take a look at the if we can take a look at the interior. Bill, can we take a look at the interior? Sure. I can open up the front. Sure. All the door panels and the uh, the seats. This was all restored. This is 30 years ago, and it was all done very accurately according to the way it left the factory from Pierce. I'd love to shake the hand of the guy that restored it, but unfortunately he's gone. Bill, can you tell us a little bit more about these tires, these rims? They're so unique. Oh, sure. These, these are... Uh, they're called artillery wheels, and the, you'll see, you can see that the spokes are naturally finished wood. That wood is actually hickory, 
which is the wood of choice for any of the wheels, and that actually goes back to the wagon days, because that's what they used for spokes, because hickory is extremely tough, and uh, uh, it's resilient, and so it's a perfect wood for spokes. And have you won any awards for this car? Oh no, we've only had it out for two weeks. <laughs> we're, uh, we're just beginning to get into the show circuit, and uh, uh, you know, it, it shows pretty well, so we, we, may, uh, we may win the occasional award, but it's primarily a driver. That's, that's really our intent with it, is to get in it and drive it. And so we'll, we'll be doing that for the rest of the summer. Well, it certainly is a beautiful car. Enjoy driving it, and good luck. I oh, hope you, you win many awards to come. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Bill, I understand you have a trick for us here. Well, I hope so. Tell us, off, tell us know, about it. Okay, what I'm going to do, the engine is idling right now. What I'm going to do is take a nickel, and I'm going to balance it on edge on the block. And there you go. Wow, what a rare treat here. There, there is the rare occasion where I can do it with a penny, too. But I don't think I have a penny today, so I have only the nickel. That is quite amazing. Can you tell us what really this is resembling, the vibrations of the engine being so smooth? Yeah, well, the engine is mounted in rubber, and that helps it. But the, uh, th these engines are built with huge flywheels. And that makes them run very smooth and idle, quite thick and idle, real slow, and also very smoothly. And that Pierce Aero always built uh, luxury cars, and so a part of luxury was the refinement of the cars, and that was one of the ways that they measured the refinement was how smooth it would idle and how smooth it would run. Can we keep that nickel? No, I'm going to need it for the next show too. And if you, if you look at it, you'll notice that while it's vibrating, you can see it shake a little bit, but it hasn't fallen. It's actually turned a little bit, which yeah, is kind of interesting. Good. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Just, just a little, but not enough to make it fall over. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing your nickel with us. We certainly appreciate this. <laughs> We'd like to show your car next, so please leave us a comment, subscribe, and like us.